A lot of us want to know how to film and edit our own videos and the truth is it's now easier than ever with the technology we have available. In this video I'm going to walk you through how to use a popular free editing app included with all Windows devices. To access the Microsoft Video Editor all you need to do is go to your search panel here, type in photos and you will find the app just here to select. Once you're in the app, it's really simple to navigate and find your way to the video editing section of this tool. So all we have to do is go across here and click video editor. This then takes us through to the main video editor page where you can find all of your projects in one space and easy to find. So if you want to create a new video project, all we have to do is just hover here, click the plus button and that will take us to a new video section and we'll just call this test and that's a new video project set up as simple as that and all you need to do to add content is just jump onto here click add and select the source we like to get content from what I'm going to do now is take you into a project that I started earlier and give you a quick tour of the features and functionalities and some cool stuff that you can do so in the good old one that I made earlier fashion, I'm just going to take you through to a project that I've started off for one of my learning how to use Slack video series, which you can also find on the Still These Thoughts YouTube channel as well, and an accompanying post, which is on stillthesethoughts.com too. So for me to start creating my video, all I need to do is start adding some assets. So I can do this by going to add, looking on my PC, and for example here, I will add in my Slack chatbot video and I will also go into my B-roll and add some videos from there too. So really simple, got these two videos up here now. To start to edit these and put these together into a video, all I need to do is place these into the storyboard as it says there, so we can either click that or you can just simply drag down to here. So this is your main features and functions that you have as part of the photos editing app here. So you wanna add in a title card, really simple. Click this, push some text onto there. So we'll just say, hey. And then you can add that into your video, nice and easy. Change up the backgrounds too. Pretty straightforward, as you can expect from Windows. Do lots of simple things, trimming your clip. If you want to take this down from 14 seconds to 10, you can do that really easily. If you want to split your clip, so you've got a couple of bits that you want to break apart, you can do that easily. Just click split right here and say, right, okay, I want to split the clip just there. Split that clip and then you've got two and can use it from there. Again, easy things, you can add text if you need to as well. So once more, just saying test, test even, and that's added onto there. And again, cool things like motion, so you can choose to zoom in, zoom out, do different tilts, great effects there too. 3D effects, which is really cool actually, and I'll show you some things you can do. So as an example, if we wanted to push in, uh, let's say an explosion here, we can add that in easily, and you can see the output. It's a really simple, right, got your video. Bam, there's your sound effect. Really nice and easy to do. Change the volume, attach it to a point. Super, super simple to anchor it to a certain bit. And it, as you can see on the screen here, really nice and easy to navigate on screen tips too. So we'll just click done there. And then the last bits again, super simple as well. Filters, you've probably used it on your phone before. You can change the video look, change the speed. You can change to shrink the image to fit or the video to fit. Great thing about Windows, you can add background music from the pre-provided tunes that are there or you can even provide your own custom audio which is pretty sweet too and then finally you can go into the additional items menu here and just change things like theme and you can change it to portrait or landscape if you're looking to work on video 
so loads of great features here um, and that's it really in terms of the features and functionality really simple to use great for beginners you can put together a video with not too much of a learning curve and you can do this in probably 15 to 20 minutes no problem at all and all you do once you're finished is you hit finish video you get your final product and then you can chuck that out into the world so really simple natural successor to the windows movie maker app so if you've used that before you'll probably find just as much ease with using this and it's got even more features for you to take advantage of and realistically if you're a beginner filmmaker this will be great for you if you are a kind of workplace learning team and you're using this to create videos in your business this will be a great piece of kit for you no need to buy anything on top of this free product of any windows 10 device you can get it from the windows store as well i hope you found that a value if you did please subscribe to the steal these thoughts youtube channel